dude. Whoa. Whoa. Yours is two. No, I'm talking mm. the nine mil. The top nine mil. So we're here at the ranch, right? We're shooting guns. We love shooting guns. It's our pastime. What are you going to do? And we've been having trespassers. We've been having a problem. And it turns out they fucking showed up today. We uh, apparently with all our shooting, they decided not to come on the property. But we were able to find, ascertain, discover, uh, realize, um, conjure an idea of where they're coming in. So we're gonna go down there. We've already we went. We grabbed some T posts. We have some. You know, it's a working ranch, so stuff all over. But we grabbed some T posts. We went down there and we drove them into the ground and we crossed them in an X. And we just wanted to say, hey, we know this is where you're coming in. And we almost caught them. I mean, almost. We we knew they were there, but they took off before we were we could get over to the the side of the property they were trying to come in on. And deer season's over. So, unless you're going to hunt predator tonight, there's no reason to be here. Unless you, you know, you're just looking around and getting drunk on other people's property. I don't know. But, they're poaching. You know, I mean, if they're out here this time of year, deer season's over, spike and doe is over. The only thing you can shoot is fur-bearing animals, predators, and, and non-game animals. So, I, I couldn't even imagine why they'd be here. But anyway, they thought they'd be sly, pull up on the main road, and I guess they heard us shooting. I tried to quiet us down as I heard them coming up, but I guess they heard us. So they decided it would be wise not to come on the property today. So I called the property owner. I said, hey, what do you want me to do? You, know, you, want, me, you want me to mount up in the truck and go chase these guys down? I can. I'm real good at following tracks. But he said no. He said, leave them be. Don't go shoot them up. They don't need to get aired out. They just need to go. So we drove some T-posts. Me and Mike here. How you doing, Mike? What's up? Came over here, the pseudo-electric fence. And we put this up. As you can tell right here, they have been using this. And if you come out here to the road, you can almost see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's tire tracks that come up like this on this side of the road. And we turn around right here, up there, in two lines is one day where they took off. Couldn't say that's today or not. But I thought for a second, maybe they're going to the neighbors, you know, but they never went in a gate. They just pulled up, we heard them, and they took off. So, that is going to be our fix for now. Mike, hold that for me. Get this fingered out here. I never had one I couldn't finger out. Yeah, I think we should have made the holes from outside. What do you mean? Outside the side. On the sides of them. Oh, that's what you're saying, yeah. I mean, this is nothing more than an impromptu. We know you're messing with us. And we know you're coming in here, and you're not freaking welcome. Okay? This is our big Nazi swastika sign to mixed-race couples. And I am a mixed-race couple, so take that as a joke. But, uh... Do not come here. Not welcome. What does that say? Does that say that? I really wanted to use the sign that said, Do not trespass. We will shoot with extreme prejudice. But they told me they didn't have enough of them to put one over here. So, this will work. A wrench. You never know what we're going to get. So, we're going to go back and we're going to continue shooting. Stay with us.